Hi everyone, this is Shelley Dressel. I'm coming today to talk a little bit about Hurricane Milton. I wanted to sit on my front porch because I've got these wonderful wind chimes and it's a beautiful, sunny, breezy day here. As you know, they just had Hurricane Helene, what was that, about a week ago, and that came all the way up into North Carolina. With any big storm, I like to kind of connect with it, see if I get information. And I felt a lot of, a, a few little wonky things, but there was nothing really that stood out hugely to me. To, this morning, when I heard more about Hurricane Milton, I decided, well, let me go ahead and do this. So I set my consciousness, I go into the place where I see the storm, and it was huge, massive, and, and it was just kind of this, this slow circle. And um, as, as I connected to it, I said, oh, this is more than I can do. So I called in, what do you, what do you call, what, what do we call ourselves, the warriors? <laughs> you know, many of you guys, I'm sure we're here part of it consciously, but I, I called in a few people that I do know. And, um, and it allowed us to have a consciousness that could then begin to work with the energies of this storm. And so as we connected with it, you know, trying to like, you know, calm, diffuse, sending in love, sending in light, et cetera. Until I got to the point where I was more in the center of it. And when I went down, I felt like I went straight into a computer and I sensed lasers and computers. And I thought, mm, this, um, this is telling me then that this is something that was more man-made and more controlled. That being said, I then um, was doing my best to try to just again diffuse things. You know, what needs to be done? Is there an underlying meaning here that needs to take place? And with this, I ended up calling in El Bayon. As you know, whenever we work with the universal beings, it frequently has to be requested. You know, they can't step in, they can't overstep their bounds. So I said, hey, El Bayon, we need to, we need to do what we can about this. I'm finding these lasers. So what happened then is he, he was working with it. And also from that galactic perspective, he and some of the other ships were trying to, again, diffuse these la lasers, but he needed to go to the source. And what this did was what we found out that there was a nefarious one that was reptilian kind of looking person on a ship that was out in the universe that was behind controlling this. And I heard Al Bayon say, oh, thanks for finding them for us. So it's, did this same nefarious one have something to do with Helene? Perhaps. Um, but he was absolutely behind it. It felt like it was a team, like I felt two people. And it felt absolutely like they were behind what was going on with Milton. And the intention behind it is they've, we could just hear him saying, we told you we're going to wipe out Florida. Florida's going to be gone. And um, so a lot of that was just like playing into fears, playing into the anxiety of it. But El Bayon and his crew, I had a sense of like, you know, you see those galactic battles in, um, um, you know, Star Trek and the different things like that. So it feels to me as if it's being taken out at that source, which is up in the universe somewhere. And that as that is being diffused and released, then we will come further down into Milton and then it will minimize the impact of Milton. It feels like before it hits landfall, it will be less than what it is right now. Just my personal perspective. Um, I'm not going to do a, a, a little channel on this just because I feel as if I've been doing it all morning and they, they're telling me they don't really have anything else to say. But what we as the the energy workers that we are as the ascended beings that we are we can all just send our energies to merge with milton with the hurricane milton and just send a sense of balance and peace and love as if this wind is coming there at you and you just send your consciousness into it and you just gently smoothly easily send in love compassion balance softness whatever it is that comes to your mind and this is how we will change it because when i go in just now and look at it i do not see that laser anymore so i believe that the whatever it was that was generating it is not there anymore um again 
I, I know there's a lot going on about um, Hurricane Helene, and I know I channeled Brisenti about it, and I know that's different than what many other people are saying. Who knows? Who knows? But um, but this is what I get for um, Hurricane Milton, and we are still at a point where we can all have a very big impact in what is going on. So I invite you to work with me and let's get this shifted, this energy shifted, whatever it is that needs to shift with the, ex the exposure to those that are not in, you know, that are not in the good of all. All right, let's bring everybody up into this and we will do the best that we possibly can. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Thank you.